On Earth, it's easy to take for granted the most basic things we need to live. But in space, air, water, and food, the ingredients of life, must be transported from Earth. As we do research aboard the International Space Station and go further into space, we learn more about life and how it's changed by spaceflight. And the knowledge we gain improves the way we live on Earth. It's important to remember our journey begins right here on Earth with the work we do at NASA in the Space Biosciences Division. Life support in space means we have to supply astronauts with sustainable sources of air, water, and food, as well as finding ways to turn waste back into products that can be used again and again. In space, the air quickly becomes polluted by our own breath in the form of CO2. At high levels, CO2 can become deadly. We're working on ways to remove poisonous carbon dioxide from the cabin, pressurize it, and convert it back to pure oxygen. The same concept works for water. We treat wastewater and transform it into pure drinking water. On board a spacecraft, every inch is vital. The trash astronauts create would fill the entire station in no time. So we've developed a tool to compact solid waste using heat that melts it into a brick the size of a Frisbee. This doesn't just work in space. Heat melt compactors can be used for trash on Earth to prevent ocean dumping and huge landfills. Scientists at NASA's Omega Project are studying the use of algae to clean up wastewater. As the algae grows, it can be harvested to provide a food source or to provide aviation biofuel. This discovery not only presents huge possible benefits for air travel, it's being tried in waste treatment plants on Earth to help clean up the environment. At NASA, we pride ourselves on the ability to invent solutions using tools, hardware, and ingenuity. But some of our most ingenious tools don't involve wrenches. NASA scientists are building synthetic biological systems to help meet the demands for recycling waste while generating useful resources like clean air and water and new materials for construction. By combining products made by engineered bacteria, with dust and rock on the Moon and Mars, astronauts could one day make building materials for landing pads and shelter from extreme environments. For tens of thousands of years, human beings have thrived while living with the consistent force of gravity on Earth. But in space, people experience a variety of gravity levels, from the rocket launch, to floating in a spacecraft orbiting Earth, to walking on other worlds. The centrifuge helps us understand how the human body responds to these changes in gravity. This knowledge helps us develop countermeasures to ensure astronauts come home healthy. NASA is also developing tools that can monitor the health of astronauts in space, including medical equipment like the portable ultrasound imaging device on board the ISS. Ultrasound techniques developed by NASA for soft tissue imaging and next-generation science experiments are also used to help diagnose injuries and broken bones in remote medical clinics where X-ray machines are unavailable. The further out into space we go, the more we need to explore the science of life itself. As we study how the lack of gravity and higher levels of radiation affect life in space, we begin to understand why bones and muscles weaken, how plants grow differently, and why microbes become more infectious. We research how human cells respond to long periods of low gravity and perform experiments on fruit flies to help scientists better understand infectious diseases. New systems being developed at NASA are enabling further breakthroughs in science. Biological experiments involving mice on the International Space Station are telling us how animals change and adapt to being in space for weeks and months. What we learn will keep astronauts healthy and strong during their long journeys into space. B-1 
Beyond the safe embrace of Earth, the men and women who journey to deep space must be protected from extremes of heat and cold, from the invisible but deadly effects of solar radiation, and from the lack of gravity, air, water, and food. It's important to remember our journey begins right here on Earth with the work we do at NASA. Our work enables us to support long-term human space exploration, and the discoveries we make will have profound impacts on our journey through space on the planet we call Earth. <laughs>